Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Black Horse, and the other day, me and Blade Runner got ourselves into a 2v4 situation. So I figured I'd post a video and show y'all how we did it in case y'all ever get into a 2v4 situation. So, Blade Runner is a player I usually play against. I play against him a lot of times, mostly because he challenges me to matches. But since we played against each other so many times, he knows how I play, so this was pretty easy. You know, so you saw, you see, I left that lurker behind. That's because it's 2v4 and I didn't, I didn't have time to get the lurker off. On, and I don't want to get get risk getting jumped on and getting double teamed. Because that would have been a quick death. So anyways, your mindset when you're the human, especially when you're outnumbered, is not to um, attack, attack the objective, but it's to defend it. Like, to the first switch, it's pretty much just a race between the humans and the necromorphs. And so once you get there, you want to kill everyone who's around the switch and then defend it while one of your teammates gets on it because you're just defending the area after that. So you see here they jump on me instead of the guy on the switch. So that was a huge mistake on their part. So we get that switch pretty easily. And then I see here, um, once I get closer, I yeah, it looks like the objective's glitched out, so I just go to pick it up just so no one thinks that it's like on the other side or anything. Just so they have something to look at. I don't think it's up top. Then I die here pretty quickly. But, um, Blade Runner sent me to invite once he saw it was f a team of four together and there's only one spot left. And these noobs are pretty good that we worked with. But it, then again, it was their fault for not finishing or cleaning them out before they went for us. They just made it harder on themselves. So you see here, I just don't want to let your partner leave your side ever. Unless they're really close to getting the objective in or they're really close to getting the switch done. See here, I'm going to make sure no one jumps on them from the front. And then hide in this little hallway, leave the spitters up top. Give him one last heal and hopefully he'll make it, but I don't think he does. Yeah, so I make the kind of make the mistake of running out there, trying to put it in, but the noob puts it in. But anyways, I died, so I gotta get my ammo back in a full health and a health pack, so that's fine. Catch that lurker, not even looking. So I'm gonna check my corners and wait on Blood Blade Runner. Of course, there were spitters back there, so I wait on them. So right here, this is where you gotta start counting them. Um, you see there's one spitter, so he'll be the first to go down. And you wanna catch him to where there's only, there's two respawning at least. So right here, we killed two, but it's enough time for one of them to respawn, so we gotta wait until we have two of them dead, because right now three are alive, probably four. So after Blade kills this guy, I know two are dead, and I know where another one is, so I can just dodge him easily. See, I stasis him right here. So I'm just waiting on Blade to kill that fourth guy. And so I'm just going to dodge this guy. And we get to switch really easily. Now, what I didn't notice until like 10 seconds after this part was that our noobs got the other switch. So that was just a bad job by the Necromorph team. Giving the switch to the noobs. But anyways, it's a pretty easy switch to get. So I committed suicide because I didn't have a lot of help, and I just want to get down here before anyone else did. So I missed this lurker, which probably I could have got this button a lot easier, but he jumps on me, which is fine, which means he won't be able to jump on me again unless I get jumped on. See, Blade's taking care of that spitter up there. And we get to switch pretty easily, so now it's just pretty much a victory walk, but... So anyways, like I said, it's about defending your area once you get to it. Um, set up a good defensive position, it should be pretty easy. Especially since you know like where they're going to set up. You know where all the vents are. The vents never, ever change. So you should know where they're coming from, where all the hiding spots are. Encountering it's pretty easy from there. So here, I'm just getting a little grenade happy, but I know we won, so...
See, they're just desperate pack rushing and whatever they can throw at us. We got three minutes to move it a couple of feet. So, human side's a little bit easier. I guess Solar Ray is a pretty human map. Pretty human sided map, but, um. I find that human side easier, I guess, just because I like my human play over my necromorph play. It's a lot more reliable. But anyway, so we went our human round. So, since it's our necromorph round, my idea is to attack them. So I'm going to go lurker as fast as I can, and hopefully try to take off one health back before you get to the switch. So I'm going to spawn their blind spot. And I do get rid of one of his health packs, I believe. Yes. So right now, while I'm p picking my spawn, I'm watching to see where Blade Runner is. He's not on the switch, so I spawn up top because there's nothing I can do about that switch anymore. So you see here, this is the other thing. In a 2v4 situation, as a Necromorph, there's only one important guy at a time, and that's the guy on the switch. So all we're going to do is double team the guy on the switch, whether it's me jumping or it's both shooting. You see Blade Runner will get a nice assist here, and that little pack up too. So right here, we're just waiting for one guy to get on the switch. We're not going to do anything stupid and just start jumping on people like crazy. We're just going to wait. So he's on the switch. I don't know if Blade Runner needs has any time to respawn, so I buy him a little time with this. And right now I'm just taking what they give me. Red, or whoever it was, Red Killer, didn't kill me, so he's going to have to pay for that. And we're starting to overrun him. Overrun them here a little bit. So, to go lurker again and just wait for that guy on the switch. Help out these neighbors who are trying to kill this guy. And I backed off before I got killed. So he could've easily I could have easily thrown it right there, but so we're just waiting. He backs off, so I back off. He wasted a health back, so he really lost and all that. And I thought I could pick up a second guy there, but I didn't get him with that pack my I got him, so it was fine. And I always like to see my vent get covered up when I'm trying to pick it, because that means I know that I've got another teammate responding next to me. Which means it's less chance of me getting spawn killed. But I'm just going to keep Blurk rushing here. So, back off where he can kill me. See, TV won that guy on the switch, and we're good. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to take him out, especially if he healed, so I just jumped on him. Make him restart the switch. And I see they're getting picked off now, so I'm going to wait for a spitter, I think. Yeah. Because now they're in a panic mode, they only have a minute left, and they're planning it against basically just 260, so it's even more of a panic. They're just going to be cocky and just try to rush the switch like this. Not even, And now they're just spitter up top, and I'm taking out their health packs easier. So they're going to have a much harder time. I grab this guy and the spitter and lurker help me out and we could get this guy. So right in here I'm just gonna throw myself at him just to slow him down a little bit. Get their attention off the button for another second. And then go lurker. So right now this guy's their last hope. I see Blader is gonna jump on him so I just sit back. And they have less than eight seconds, so there's no way they can possibly get this. That's a successful 2v4 win by me and Blade Runner. If you have any questions about that game, just leave in the comments. I hope this helped.
anyways, post game stats are coming up. After this, we drop our two noobs and I think we pick up red and a level 40 or something. So it becomes a 4v4 sub matches of that too. Anyways, thanks for watching.